Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. We start the video off once again, 30 minutes fasted cardio. Done. This time we don't have after clients. I'm still fasted, it's 11.30, which is a good, good fast. I just wanna show you a little innovation, a little thing that I've done. So, for us vloggers out there, well, for anyone doing cardio at the minute, especially on the stairs, I don't know about you, but I find that when we're on the Stairmaster and we're phone is down here and we're up here, always looking down, it's not great. So, got myself my tripod, phone attachment. That is the last video that I was just previewing because that's gonna go live today. But that is the setup. So that is pretty ideal for you. If you're doing your cardio and you've got yourself a tripod, get involved, get stuck in with that. Welcome back to the video anyway. That is a little quick tip with Curry. Ent entering the video with a little tip, how ideal. Uh, we're gonna go do a food job now in Lidl. So I might spin you there. Also, I haven't showed you this bad boy poof daddy. Look at the size of it. The weather is still awful and this was the upgrade. This is what we bought in Bista way back when, when I went with Beth, but I never really showed you it. Ralphie Longline Puffer. And I tell you what, it does pay to spend a little bit more money on a nice coat this is so warm, so comfortable, and such a better material than that old burst job. Next on the POA today, oh wait, let's just grab that. Fucking hell. Meals, meal prep survive. My brother's just moved into his new house today. He got the keys today. He's been waiting a long time. We thought it was gonna be around skiing, but he's just got it, so. We're sort of going to go and check that out, which is kind of exciting. Let's go, have a, let's go have a look. Look at this. Here he is, new homeowner. Come on in. Thank you. The ugliest one of the lot. That's him. Yeah, it looks good, Grandma, doesn't it? She's loving it. That is so cool. Right, team, let's do a bit of a prep update. So, as of Sunday, we are 12 weeks out. It sounds like it's getting a little closer, which is really, really good to what, about 85, 86 days. Um, training has stayed the same. We're still on the five day split. Well, two, three days on, one day off, two days on, one day off program. Cardio has been increased. We've started doing cardio as of sort of the beginning of last week. Uh, three 30 minute Stairmaster sessions, nothing too strenuous and just not off the leg day, but three 30 minute sessions. And if I can, they're fasted. Uh, on that note, fasting is something that I've been doing not to help with weight loss at all, but just as a tool to uh, help restrict my calories. So I fast until 11.30 most days, and that just means that I can eat my calories from sort of 11.30 till 9, rather than when I started work this morning at 5. If I've got that amount, X amount of calories between that window rather than that window, it's a lot easier to stick. So yeah, I tried to fast just to help me, help me with uh, hunger pains and cravings. No real sort of cravings or hungers just as of yet, but like I say, it's still quite easy. Calories are around 2,500, like you, see, you would have seen in that full day of eating. And everything is going smoothly. I feel good, I feel like I've dropped a little bit of weight. Well, a decent amount of weight. I'll show you a photo from the very, very first day of 2020 to now, and sort of that has been my prep. Like I said, before skiing, it was quite, I wouldn't say lack lusted, but it was very, like calories were comfortably high and no cardio, and it's only now that we're starting to think about dropping that hammer. And I'm, to be honest, I'm buzzing for when we do. Like I say, I've got it set in my head that this competition, I don't care who turns up, it's just me versus myself, so. As long as I bring my best package, I'm gonna be happy and I'm confident that I'll do so. So I'll be excited to document the journey and uh, let you see that as well. So if you're enjoying this prep series so far, make sure you smash the like button and support your boy because I really do appreciate it. I also just had a little delivery. Just a re-up on the muscle food. So just a little re-up on the protein prep pots. Uh, they're just so easy, quick and convenient. I Obviously that, when did I do that last one? It was about a month ago, so they do last me quite a while, but it's if I get in late and I need a quick meal, these are perfect. 
you know, and now that I've gone through most of them, I just picked my two favourites. So I've got three of the tiger and curries and one of the sweet chilli. So yeah, happy days and a few more for Beth. Booked a little trip to Edinburgh for me and Beth post show. I thought it'd be nice for us to have something to look forward to, especially as like when I'm dieting, I don't really get to go out, drink, do much uh, socially with her, which, and she's so supportive of all of that. So, wait, let's, uh, you're a bit loose, you are. You're getting loose. Whoa. So, yeah, book flights to Edinburgh. Really looking forward to it. Me and Beth, like, it's like one or two weeks after the show, and then we woke up on Thursday realising that fly we went bust so fingers crossed we can get some flights sorted or new flights sorted and get some money back uh, but yeah that's that's on the old to-do list today uh, it is currently Saturday and we are going to go train Paul and I think a few of the boys are in Ads, Toes and Pete uh, which is nice I enjoy training with, on the weekends because I get to train with the boys I also want to start on the weekends, going to like sick old school bodybuilding gyms around the south coast, training and vlogging them as I'm getting deeper and deeper into prep. It's just good for motivation to sort of switch up gyms. So let me know down below if there's any on the south coast that you've heard of that that are decent. So I'll go to Spartans in Southampton, which I know for a fact is a decent gym. I've been there once. I definitely want to go to Kings, uh, which is Croydon, which is about an hour away. That's not too far. I think there's a few in um, Bournemouth as well, so that's going to be like not a mini series, but I'll definitely start doing that as I get deeper and deeper into prep. So let me know down below if there's any sick gyms that you think we should go to. Wrapped up a solid, solid workout. The boys left about half hour ago, putting in the extra work, did my little bit of cardio, and now I'm up here, get my little pose on, just trying to practice, get used to some sort of routine. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to jump on here now and just say, look, this is when it takes the extra work. This is when you've got to put in the extra work. The boys have all finished. This is like the little bit of extra dedication that you need. So today I hit a new low weigh-in of 76.9, which is cool. Um, but I was listening to a podcast of AJ Morris and I think it was Jack Piad as well. Um, and they said a really good point and I wanted to sort of share it with you for anyone else that's on a, on a weight loss journey or a dieting journey, especially for someone that's about to go and step on stage. It's not a journey of weight loss. It's not how much weight you can lose. You don't win a contest because of how much weight you lose. It's your final package. It's what you bring to the stage. It's how full you are. It's how well proportioned you are. So it's all well and good me going on, oh, new low, new low, new low, but it's so important for me to maintain as much muscle as I can because I don't want to step on stage the skinniest, the lightest, and have the least muscle on stage. It's important to keep it. And if anything, I'd rather step on stage too maybe two kilos heavier, but be fuller, be bigger. So that's something to think about if you're dieting. Don't always chase scale weight. That's why I like to take photos before and after. Just keep like referring back to them. Like, am I losing weight in the right places? Am I still feeling getting, feeling big? Uh, take measurements as well with a tape. So yeah, just a little foot and jump on here. I'll probably chat about it in an Instagram post tonight as well, but I wanted to say it in the vlog. <laughs> Should I zoom out? You, you zoom out a little bit. I do the z thing on the camera? Yeah. Okay. We're super close to my ugly face. No, not now I'm zoomed out. Sweet. Right, 11.15 on Sunday. Never, ever, ever train on Sundays, but Lou and Al have obviously just moved into their new house and there's a leisure centre right next to it. So we went and trained with them just to show them because they've got memberships there. Uh, I only did a half an hour on the stairs, but that broke me today. It was really, really hot in there. Um, Beth and Al trained together and then Lou did a weight session, so that was all good. We're now off to B&Q with them because it's time to do renovations. They carry on, we're going for the bathroom today, aren't we? The it's not even part two, it's just like continued. Continued. Downstairs, Lou, we're going to try and do the floor in me and Beth. Post-workout, having a carb crusher bar. Lower calorie on non-training days. Even though today technically counts as training day, but we're still going to go lower carb, so this is a lower carb bar. Run that back, turbo. I'd be messy. Yeah, yeah. Running on racks, yeah. I know these niggas ain't talking to me. I don't give a reaction. I'd be keeping that Glock on my hip and I wear it for fashion. I really be balling and popping that shit like I do on my captions. Fucking hell, can you hear him? She's telling him off. <laughs> he is the biggest gamer next door. Literally, me and Beth will be in bed. It'd be like, 
half ten and he is shouting out of Xbox. And he gets up and goes to work really early, like you say. Oh, it's mental. Right, the B&Q pickups, firstly, a huge shout out to Lemon, how sorted us out with friends and family discount this weekend. So we went in. We have got... Oh, should I get the colour things? Get the colour palettes. So we got a luxe grey, which, which is the same colour as that fireplace. But for the wall, not the wood. For the wall next to there, yeah, we're going to build shelves, aren't we? Yeah. Which is going to look super cupboard. cool. Just making like small transitions now to make this house like actually feel proper homely. And then in the downstairs loo, we're going to have a feature wall. What colour is this? Military something or naval? Yeah, naval. Um, one more that colour, and then we got toilet, sink, and taps. But the sink isn't here. When's that coming? Coming in that week. I'll try and week. put a picture on, but that should be really, really nice. And as it stands right now, oh, I'll move up some more. This, <laughs> I was just having a look at the underlay this morning. We're doing an absolute bodge job if you come in. You can see that half an hour. We didn't have enough of this, so for the bits that aren't going to touch the water, I've done that. Well, but I mean, yeah, the toilet is literally going to be there. Yeah, that's fine. So it's let's, more of a uh, sink, isn't it? Let's roll it. That's the colour of the wall that we're going to paint. Uh, yeah, let's roll it. We're going to do the flooring now, aren't we? Yeah. Smash it out. We are flying. We have Easy O's playing in the background. Rossi, do you want to like one? How, how early? Only saw me do the edge. Oh no, Rossi is painting that wall. Trying to time that, she's not very good with oh, this no, video, from No, the whole time? No, no, no. Oh, that's all right. And then, underlay down, half and half jobby, but we're good. And then these are the tiles that we're going for. They're a little bit vibey. So, I might try and time out to this, but yeah, let's do it. I'd be messy, running on rest, yeah. I know these niggas ain't talking to me, I don't give a reaction. I'd be keeping that Glock on my hip and I wear for fashion. I really be balling and popping that shit like I do on my captions, yeah. A few hours later, this is the mess that we've caused, but go on, Rossi, stick oh. it in the last piece. Okay. Yep, slide on under. <laughs> 20 <laughs> minutes <laughs> later. This is where I get this bit wrong. Don't you even think about it. Yes! She's in! Smash! Now that was a crazy, crazy, crazy time. But I mean, the skeleton's not done, but once the skeleton's on, it looks so good. It looks it? good. Need to paint that wall. Rossi's given it one coat. This wall, which looks pretty flipping cool, but. That has to be us for the day. What time are we on, Rossi? About 6.30. Uh, no, 10 7. 10 Oh, God, I need some food. That looks so good. But yeah, happy days. Your hat like that makes you think the guy from um, Home Alone, the robber. Wait, you've got something on it. Do we turn off that? Um, no. Can turn off the. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hope you enjoyed the video up until this point. I'm gonna end it here, it's 13 and a half minutes long and there's not a single fitness clip in there. Uh, there's me talking about prep, giving prep updates, a little bit of posing, but there's not any workout footage. So if you've made it through the video without the workout footage, I appreciate you. Uh, it shows that my channel is more than just fitness. Babe, she's yawning behind the <laughs> camera. Am I really that boring? <laughs> Uh, if you're annoyed that there's not any fitness content, let me know what fitness content you want to see. I don't want to just always just put in uh, clips of me working out. I don't know if you want more informative stuff, edits, whatever, whatever it may be. I think uh, I found a nice gym to go to on the weekend with Alex as well. So I'll be filming in that old school gym in Portsmouth. 
yeah, and that's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed the video. I've got a few new subscribers of late, so I appreciate you if you're one of those. Push for a thousand is on. Let's do it.